Um, the the uh, Zulu skins, that's what I needed to see in order to feel that Wakanda was a real place. Unless you're a Marvel comic fanatic, you may not be familiar with Wakanda, but don't worry, it doesn't actually exist. Costume designer Ruth Carter used the colors and dynamism for markets like these in Cape Town, South Africa to help her create the costumes for Marvel's latest film, The Black Panther. <laughs> The Black Panther is from Wakanda, which is a fictitious land in the center of Africa. It, it honors um, the African culture for Africans and for African Americans because it shows uh, how they have not stripped it down, how they have kept it uh, intact. Carter, the two-time Oscar nominee costume designer for Spike Lee's Malcolm X and Steven Spielberg's Amistad, had to create an Afro-futuristic nation, but also stay true to African culture. Do you feel that Hollywood is appropriating African culture? Do you think it's celebrating it through, you know, movies like The Black Panther? I had shoppers in Ghana and other parts of the continent that were actually buying directly from the people who are selling goods to to support their families or for whatever purposes. And that to me is the best way to not appropriate, but to, you know, give back um, and also to be authentic. And perhaps this might help change how Africa is represented in blockbusters in the future. Eleni Jokos, Cape Town, South Africa. The revolution will be live. Come out! The Black Panther is ready for you!